So we're moving on to parabola drawing mechanisms, um, working from this book. Um, we're going to do um, the mechanism of figure 221. So in this one we're going to, th this is derived from some of the hyperbola uh, drawing mechanisms. Um, we're going to be having a, uh, driving it by a line through my point A and we'll drive that by an angle theta. Um, so there's going to be A slider C, uh, this line BC, which is going to be constrained to go uh, vertically up and down, there's going to be um, another line of uh, right angles to that. So let's constrain these. Um, first of all, we'll make that uh, perpendicular to the x axis. And we will constrain its location. Uh, by specifying the distance of C from the y-axis, call that A. Uh, we're now going to have, uh, and, and then we're going to constrain this one to be at right angles. Uh, now this line is um, going to join as another line, which is constrained to be at a given angle and a given location. So we're going to have that line uh, like that and we'll constrain it to be at 45 degrees. And we'll also constrain this distance here. And we now have a location here and so let me just not do it that way. Let me draw it this way. I'm going to go down in this direction, and we're going to make it go through the intersection of these two lines. Let's have the intersection, and let's force this uh, line to pass through that intersection. Uh, we also have this line here constrained to be uh, right, these two to be constrained to be at right angles. This is all managed by this the, the orientation of the sliders uh, in the drawing. Now, with that in place, let's just see what happens if we change theta. Uh, we see that uh, various things seem to move around. What our um, the point that's going to draw out our curve? is this point G. Uh, so let's take a look at how that uh, varies with theta. Uh, gives us a curve, which uh, we're hoping to be a parabola. It does uh, seem to look that way. Uh, let's just find out if it is. And um, yeah, sure enough, um, this can be expressed as y um, equals the quadratic in x. And so it's uh, a vertical parabola. Um, I did a challenge for the viewer, uh, work out from that equation where um, does the axis point lie in terms of a and b. Uh, once you've discovered that, um, or once you've determined it, you could uh, put the point in and uh, specify its coordinates. Let's say I imagined my point was going to be a, oh, let's say minus, uh, let's say it was going to be a, I, I, let's say I work out it's going to be at x coordinate b over 2. Um, 
y coordinate. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to just guess minus a. Um, obviously not quite right. Uh, I need to go back to the drawing board and do some actual math and find out where that point is.